When you first come into hospital, you're going to go down to the reception area. There they're going to go through an admission package with you. When you're ready to come up to the ward, we'll give you a little introduction of the ward, we'll take you to your room and we'll get you settled into your room. I felt quite um, comfortable. The staff are all very experienced. When we're ready to go to surgery, Mum and Dad can come with us. We'll pop a gown on Mum and Dad and a little hat too. We'll have some fun with them. A paediatric surgeon is one who operates primarily on children. Coming into hospital can be a scary time. You don't need to be afraid because you're in a safe, caring and loving environment to look after your needs. I met the anaesthetist and the surgeon and quite a few other nice people. I am a paediatric anaesthetist. The first time you will see me is most likely when you come down to theatre and you have to wait in the holding bay, which is where we are at the moment. I'll ask you if you have any questions or concerns or anything you'd like to know about going off to sleep and waking up. Coming into theatre, we will you in and then we transfer you from your bed onto the theatre bed with your parents by your side. You see me in theatre wearing a funny hat and you can ask me any more questions before you go off to sleep. Did you think it was nice having Mum there? Well, yeah. <laughs> so in theatre, we'll ask you some more questions to make certain that you are the right patient for the right operation. The anaesthetist will say hello and then they'll place a little mask over your nose and mouth. They'll blow some uh, oxygen through there and then you'll drift off to sleep. So we'll see you again in recovery. So in recovery, we're just making sure that everything's okay and that you're going to be okay. So in there, you can lay down a little bit. We have icy poles for you. You can watch a little bit of television. And the nurse, again, is just going to do observations on you and mum and dad can give you cuddles. So she was still a little bit sleepy. She was sort of deeply contemplating her icy pole, but she was quite comfortable and happy. You stay there in recovery until you're ready to go back to the ward where your mum and dad walk back with you. So when we're back on the ward, what we'll do, we'll provide you with any food or drinks and this is when you can have your snacks. We'll continue observations and then this is your time to relax. So you can play with the toys if you feel up to it. You especially like the cookies, didn't you? Yes. It's quite a novelty being able to have someone bring you food to you and clean up, so that I felt like I was staying in a hotel a bit. We're going to talk to mum and dad and provide them with any education and medications so that they are comfortable to take you home. When it's time to go home, it can be very exciting for you. You're ready to go and tell your friends your experience in hospital. At the same time, it can be quite sad for us to say goodbye, but we know that you're going to be in safe hands once you're home with your parents. It may seem a little bit scary at first, but once you get used to it, you can have lots of fun. We're all here to look after you and make sure that you stay safe through the whole procedure. <laughs>